Liu Bei and Sun Quan achieve a miraculous victory at Qi Bi. The defeated Cao Cao retreats to Zhu Chang. After the battle, Liu Bei gains control over the southern half of the Jing province and places it under his rule. We need to decide what our options are. Yes. What ideas have you come up with? The soldiers need a morale boost because they're not getting enough to eat. How about putting the soldiers to work in the fields? Then those who don't work, don't eat. We've captured a lot of Cao Cao soldiers. A great many of them wish to join your army and fight with you. Won't you forgive and forget the past and let them join you? Time not spent in battle is time to train. Don't you think? We need training, training, training! Sire, please decide on our course of action. I agree. Let's do it! Yes, yes sir. sir! Look at this great army! They have been trained very hard and are ready to fight at any time! Yi Province. This fertile land west of the Jing Province is ruled by Liu Zhang, an ally of Cao Cao. Suffering a major defeat in Qi Bi, Cao Cao plots with Liu Zhang to trick Liu Bei into taking the offensive. Anticipating Cao Cao's scheme, Liu Bei takes his counsel's advice and advances his troops to Yi Province. Anxious to avoid a needless battle, Liu Bei shrewdly moves on to Chengdu the capital of Yi province, where he hopes to persuade Liu Zhang to reconsider. <laughs> you just walk right in here all by yourself, do you? I guess all the rumors about your heroics are true. Lord Liu Zhang, I do not seek to wage war. Join me and fight Cao Cao. We must resist him or the people will suffer. I understand. I do not wish to fight either. However, I can't break the alliance I made with Cao Cao. You would side with a heinous tyrant like Cao Cao? Ah, poor Cao Cao. I pity him so much. Pity? I've known him since he was just a little boy. He was a sweet, adorable child. <laughs> but... War has changed him so much, I'm afraid. He's a merciless, vicious despot. I have a long-standing agreement. I cannot break my treaty with him. I'll leave at once. My lord! You enter my home and ask me to betray a friend? Go as I told you. War is no longer avoidable. While we're in this standoff, Ma Chao of Shamong Gate or Jia Hao Bao of Han Zhang could attack from the rear at any time. We have to fight then. Kao Kao was a sweet, adorable child. But war has changed him so much, I'm afraid. He's a merciless, vicious despot. It is time. We will plan the attack on Changdu Castle. Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, begin the council. According to the scouting unit's report, the castle is heavily guarded, and the enemy's position is unknown. 
this battle. If we can force the enemy general to flee, then it will be our victory. If my brother's unit is forced to flee, then it will be a loss. We'll give the command of the Hawk troops to Lord Guan Yu. I agree. Tell me what options there are. My brother, listen to this strategy of mine. Focus the attack on the East Gate. If you do that, the enemy will concentrate their troops on defending it. That will enable me to advance to the hill. From there, I will launch the Hawk troops. A surprise attack by the Hawk troops will utterly demoralize our foes. Master Liu Bei, listen to what I have to say. What if we use your troops to protect the storehouse, Master? The others in groups of two attack the gates here. Then Lord Guan Yu can really put them hot troops to use. Liu Bei, listen to my strategy. Everyone attacks this little gate here. You have to keep attacking those bad boys and never give them a second to rest. That has to wipe them out. It would be great if Guan Yu's hawk troops could be able to use this hill. Please decide upon a strategy, my lord. I've made my decision. To battle! Yes, sir!
The enemy has entered. We have no choice but to kill them. Famous, great, and brave Ma Chao? But why? It was Cao Cao, butchered my entire clan. Now I swear on their dead bodies. I won't stop till I have his head. Thank you. 
Troops, ready! Forgive me. I'm asking for backup. Zhenran, I am on my way to you. Just hold on. <laughs> 